Hi all, this is Paula from Slice Mania. Uh, a while back, I made a tutorial in, on how to create a uh, site word, uh, template for site words with audio. Well, I came up with, I uh, think it's a simpler way to do it. So I'm gonna show you here how to. Um, I'm using this template, the daily activities or choice board template. And what I did was to change the uh, numbers for the words that I want that I'm using as an example here. So if you want to edit them, just double click and change them. And once I have all my words ready, I'm going to go to uh, create a new template. <laughs> I'm going to go to Google Slides. So, yes, create and share. And just gonna wait for it to open. And right now I only want, all, all I want right now is a transparent image. So I'm just gonna delete this, but I want it to be very small. So I'm gonna go to file, page uh, setup. I'm gonna choose uh, custom and I want it one inch by one inch, very small because I don't want this image to be heavy, to make the, t the file heavy. So I just, I'm gonna create a very light uh, image. Now that I have it, I'm gonna go to background and I'm gonna select transparent and done. Now I'm gonna go to file, download, and I'm gonna choose PNG image, okay? So once you download uh, your transparent image, you want to upload it to your drive here is my transparent. I just renamed it to transparent. And I'm going to go to my file. I'm just going to go see here, here. And I'm going to insert audio. I'm going to look for and. I use a screencastify to record my audios. Now that I have it here, I'm going to right click on it. And I'm going to say replace image. And I'm going to choose my drive. And I'm going to select my transparent shape. So now. I don't have the audio icon, I have a transparent image. So I'm gonna place it on top of my word and my word is now, <clears throat> uh, has audio. I'm gonna do the same for art and water. I'm gonna go to uh, insert audio. I'm gonna look for R here. Um, I'm going to right click, replace image. Drive, transparent. So now I have it again. I'm going to resize it. There you go. And now R is also, has also sound and the same for water. Insert audio or water. And once there, right click, replace image, drive, transparent. And the same here, I'm gonna just move it over here and I'm going to resize it. There you go. And I did the same for the other three. So now they're all words with audio. So when you're, if you're showing the same uh, present mode, they will be able to click every word and uh, the sound will play. You can also do this to add audio to your Bitmoji. Uh, if you want to say hello to your students or you want to uh, uh, give them, um, say, um, record a message for them, just go to insert audio. I'm gonna choose this one where I introduce myself, for example. And once there, I'm just gonna right click, replace. I'm gonna choose drive and I'm gonna choose transparent. So now I'm just gonna place it over my Bitmoji. I'm gonna resize it so it covers me completely. And now, if they are in present mode, they can click on me and I will say a message, okay? So not only you can add uh, 
audio to your Bitmoji or to words for sight words. You can also use this little trick to add audio to a whole scene. So for example, if I have this, uh, this picture of, of a museum, I can do the same. I can just add different audios are describing the uh, paintings or whatever is my zine about and replace the little um, audio icon with a transparent image and place it on top of the paintings or whatever your scene is about. And again, when your students are clicking on each of the images or objects uh, in your slides, they will hear your description or even a song or whatever. So I hope this is useful. I think it's easier than the uh, tutorial that I made before. So again, just let me know uh, if you like it. Thank you.